Really? Okay. Good morning, everyone. We are packing up and we are leaving this location. Um, so Ghislaine and Dan and Frugal and Journey have already pulled out and it looks like it's just Paul and I that are left. And I'm gonna head into uh, Salida into town. There's um, a good car wash there and I wanna get the bike cleaned up. When I took that ride the other day after it had rained, well, you can see, well, I don't know because of the sun, but I'll go around here. So quite a bit of mud. It's like a clay. Um, you, it smelled like uh, like when you were a kid back in school and you had that little modeling clay that you used to play with. It's exactly what the road smelled like after the rain. And this stuff is on here, so I need some high pressure water. So I'm gonna take this to the car wash that's next door to Walmart that we went to a couple days ago to wash the truck and we're gonna get the, the bike washed. I don't want to leave it with that mud on there. It's not good for it. So, uh, looks like the last thing. I just got to roll the carpet up and stick it on the back bumper. Um, I always roll it up and then it lays kind of right in that crook right there. And then I tip this up. I also put the KTM chair on top of the carpet. And then any bags of garbage go on top of there. And then I use these bungees that hold this up and then throw a bungee over top of the whole thing, usually if I got garbage bags on there, so. Piece of cake. So, we're gonna get uh, last couple things buttoned up here and we'll pull out of here, check in with you later. Once we get settled in the new location, it's supposed to have way better internet, so it won't take me 28 hours to upload a video. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What do you think left? Really? Okay. See you soon. Good morning, everyone. So we are, uh, we've relocated. You know, we were um, in Leadville for a while. And then we moved to what I was calling Salida. It was actually, uh, it was a little BLM area, small, very small. It was a little rock canyon. Um, and it was about a 15 minute drive outside of Salida, north of Salida. So now we've relocated. We're actually closer to Salida. This is another BLM area, quite a bit larger. Um, very arid here. The downside, I'm gonna say it right now, is this right here these cactuses. So these are enemy number one against Lefty's feet. And he's very smart. He immediately, I, I show him the cactus. You see him right now, he's sniffing them. He knows not to go near those things. And he hasn't stepped on any since we've been here. So I did take some time yesterday. I borrowed um, a shovel and a rake from my friend Paul who's standing right over there talking to Ghislaine and a couple other folks um, So I was able to clear out The cactuses right from our general area. There was a big patch of them right there. So we've got a nice a nice area here um, It's just very dry here. There's no um, there's no water, you know, there's no creek nearby or anything like that, which kind of stinks because I loved taking Lefty down to the creek over there in Leadville. It was just such a nice quick walk right over to the creek and he could go in the water and drink and my water usage dropped off dramatically when we were there because he was doing a lot of his drinking right out of the creek, most of it. So really picturesque um, view here. I'll just kind of pan around and you can see all around is just mountains. So the drive into this location, it's paved road up until the last, uh, just under a mile, it's 0 0.8, 8 tenths of a mile, you're on a dirt road. 
and some of the worst uh, washboarding. I, I was literally crawling. Um, it was really making the truck hop up and down. So, you know, it always depends on how, how much space there is, the frequency and the amplitude of the washboarding. And when you hit just the right combination, this truck just can't even move hardly. It just wants to bounce up and down. So I had to really crawl. Um, and then it was kind of a winding, uh, some uphills and so a little bit hairy. Um, you know, we made it for sure, but a little bit hairy. So I'm just cooking some breakfast. I've got some uh, sausage frying up over there, some breakfast sausage, and I'm gonna have some eggs. And then I've got some, some of these nice soft potato rolls that I butter up and put on the frying pan and fry them up. So a nice breakfast. And I'm thinking, um, I was really not thinking straight yesterday when I was in town and I forgot to take the bike to the car wash. So I can be in town from this location. Uh, once I hit paved road, I'll be in town in about seven minutes. So I'm thinking I'm going to jump on the bike and ride into town, go to the car wash, get all this um, mud and such cleaned off of this poor bike. So again, nice place. Just I uh, wish there was some water nearby. We went on a really long walk this morning. This place is really big. It just fans out. Um, there's a lot of these shorter trees, uh, tree slash bushes, I'm going to call them. And people, all the good spots, you know, people have kind of hunkered up in by the trees and such. And I don't necessarily need to be by trees. You know, I don't want anything blocking my solar. The trees here are fairly short. Um, if I do see a spot that's, that looks more attractive than where we're sitting right now, I will definitely move us. Uh, but right now, we got in here yesterday afternoon and uh, spent a nice quiet night. The temperatures here, we're in a little bit of a heat wave right now. It's gonna be in the mid to upper 80s for the next, uh, what's today, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and then it drops off down into the like 70 degree range. So we just happen to be here during a little heat wave. So I'm not gonna let that taint my uh, feelings about how good this spot is. It just, anywhere we would be right now in this area, there's a heat wave. So um, nice night last night, nice and quiet. Um, didn't hear any mouse noises. I'm running my inside 12 volt fan. You know, my small, what is it, about an eight inch uh, rotary 12 volt fan. I ran that last night. We slept good, uh, really good. So not too cold, not too hot. Like I said, doing a sausage, eggs, and bread for breakfast. So I've got these small um, breakfast sausage that I'm frying up real quick. So I do all my cooking inside the truck. Um, Last, when I first was on the road and I was traveling uh, with Chad, he did all his cooking. Well, not all, but a lot of it outside. He would set up his stove like this one on a table outside his rig. And so I followed suit and I did some cooking outside. And the, the downside to it is that I'm constantly going in and out of the truck because I'm preparing food. And then I got to go outside to the stove. And so I was in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, you know, so many times. And it became frustrating in that I wanted to be able to monitor the stove cooking without having to go in and out of the truck. So I prefer to cook inside the truck. So I do all my cooking in here. And I'm still using these one pound bottles. They last a few weeks. I mean, they, they last a long time. I do have the large propane tank and I did buy a 12 foot extension hose. So one of these days I'm going to rig it up and probably because the, the propane tank is right out in this cabinet, I can run my hose right in here and I have um, the hose that will adapt right up to this connection here. So I can run it off my large tank. I just haven't gotten around to it. So one of these days I'm going to get my lazy button gear and um, try to run something that's... Um, more permanent uh you know coming in through that door is an option but i'd much rather i can run the propane line through this 
outside cabinet, so I would have to bore a hole. Oh, actually, there already is a hole there that I've got covered up. So there's a hole coming from where the propane tank is into this larger cabinet where my batteries and such are. You run the hose along the back side of this cabinet, bore a hole through right here, and come out with the, the propane line right here. So that's an option, and that's what I want to end up with. I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. So these rolls, these are Walmart bakery, their uh, potato rolls. They're super soft, and I just slop butter on both sides of them, and I fry them just like this. I don't cut them in half. A um, lot of butter, so they soak up a lot of butter. I love butter. Who doesn't love butter? I used... I use whipped butter all the time because it spreads so easy. So whipped butter, when it's warm, and I always keep it at room temperature, so it spreads like super simple as opposed to a hard stick of butter that you're trying to soften up and then, and then spread. So whipped butter is my uh, weapon of choice for <laughs> frying bread. So I'm going to get these buttered up and get them thrown on the skillet. Let me get my eggs out and we'll get those thrown on. I fry the eggs right in the, the grease from the sausage. I need a freezer because my refrigerator is very full and some of those items because I'm buying um, you know I have sausage and hamburgers and those could go in the freezer for sure. Lefty is a, a great volunteer he loves to come in here and and be with me while I'm cooking don't you because he knows what's up and he always likes to lay right there right where I need to cook so he knows he gets to lick the eggs off the plate when I'm done. So he's just waiting. So let's see how these are doing. Oh yeah, those are frying up good. Very nice. Stay there, buddy. There we go. Gotta love fried bread. These are ready to rock. So what we have is glorious fried eggs. So it is time to chow. We've got three eggs, six pieces of sausage, and three pieces of buttered bread. I'm gonna go at it. Front and rear air conditioning, full three rows of seating. But back then we weren't expecting that much out of our trucks and SUVs. Now they're rolling living rooms, rolling luxury cars. We're buying Ford F-150s and f
Okay, well, breakfast is done. That was awesome. Lefty's got some shade here, so we'll be in shade on this side of the truck for the rest of the day. So uh, I parked specifically to do that. It's actually not bad out right now. It's a nice breeze. Um, standing in the sun, it's not bad. So probably later in the afternoon. I mean, we're only at about 11 a.m. So thanks everybody for watching today. I appreciate that. Just wanted to give an update on where we are, what we're doing. Um, plan is to stay here for uh, a week at least. I've got a package coming from New York that I need to wait for. Uh, and then another uh, item that I ordered. And I really would like to order my freezer and get that shipped in. I want to go talk to the shipping company in town and just verify it's okay that I ship stuff in there. I know it is. I just like to talk to them first before I start having stuff show up. So that's the plan tentatively a week or more in this location. Uh, I am still scouting around here to try to find a spot that doesn't have so many cactuses around it. So that Lefty can get a little bit of a break and move a little more freely than he is right now. So, thanks again. Thanks again for watching the video. We appreciate it. Everybody take care. We'll see you all real soon. Be safe. Bye. Oh, I know. Now it's my boy. That's my boy.